Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today we're going to talk about privacy and privacy oriented operating systems. And I actually have this one right here. This is the Tails OS. Very good example actually of privacy oriented OSs. And we're going to talk about that one. But the interesting thing here, we're also going to try this one on Mac. Because typically you use this operating system like let's say on a Windows machine or a Linux laptop or whatever. But we're going to use this one on our Mac. I have MacBook 2014. This one actually is based on Intel. Intel, and we know recent changes right so now you cannot actually boot any operating systems from your Mac because like M1 Apple silicon chip I mean it's great it's fast but at the same time you are limited in, in the sense what kind of operating systems you can run in my opinion if you're a privacy oriented person the Apple silicon Mac might be not be the best solution here but who knows who knows uh, because there are some concerns about that but Intel Macs are very good in that sense because you can still load Linux or any other operating system on those using that bootcamp or any kind of method you want to use actually described a few methods in my tutorials so yes we're going to try tails we're going to boot two tails actually on this thumb drive and we're going to run this one directly from a thumb drive and i think it's actually really great because i mean you can just like pull out this thumb drive from your macbook and like plug in your windows pc and it's still gonna work it's still gonna work just fine i feel like this is a great solution actually and uh, the main idea of the operating system is that basically like once you shut down the operating system like the whole data everything you have is just lost I mean, of course, unless you send this out to the internet, right? But yeah, on the local machine, there'll be no traces whatsoever, right? So let's actually go ahead and try this out. So today we're going to talk how to prepare this Tails image for your Mac. So in order to do that, you need the utility, for example, like this one. This is called Balena Etcher. So all we need to do is basically download the, the binary, download the image of Tails operating system from the official website, and then just drag and drop here, and then press a flash once you have a few flash drive in your system so that's basically it so that's how you prepare the easiest way there's also some other tools available on the market for example like this unit boot in but I definitely do not recommend using this one because in my experience eh, this is not the best one in this sense for some reason it doesn't do well with partitions so it's not really the best way of doing all that you just prepare all that press flash and you have a USB drive that you can use in your system to boot your Mac into the tails and right now we're actually gonna switch to the tails just boot our system from it and see how it works all right let's go so guys the first thing we need to do is basically to insert the flash drive which i have prepared right here so i'm gonna plug it right here in the one of the ports and i mean it's amazing that this mac has like lots of ports comparing to like modern macs which uh, i mean don't have much ports anymore so okay so let's power up and let's hold the option key let's just hold the option key and wait all right so in my case i need to type a password because because this mac is uh, encrypted so file vault protection is on so i need to type my password all right so now i have a boot screen and one of the options is efi boot we need to select this one let's pick the first option which is like a default option it takes some time to boot but now we basically load it i already can see the cursor all right so here we are all right guys and once the system boots we are presented with this welcome to tails dialog so here we can just uh, pick what options work best for us by default it's all picked here and usually these default options are just work fine but for the sake of customizing this one let's look over those so you can pick the language you can pick keyboard layout formats and stuff like that and here is, there's an interesting thing it says encrypted persistent storage so you can configure persistent storage for this operating system remember this operating system basically like wipes everything away once you shut down the computer but in this case you can actually customize it to be able to save your data in specific folder it's called persistent and also have additional settings right here for example we can press plus and we can enable administrative access guys by default there is no administrative access and so this means that the user cannot basically modify the system settings in any way which is cool so how about we enable this one so we can just type the password here and it's gonna work I've just added the administrative password right here how about we also unlock the persistent storage so remember each time you boot you need to unlock the persistent storage you can use your system without access to the persistent storage or you can unlock it and have it right here so which is very useful all right so access was unlocked and it has this message settings were loaded from the persistent storage now what what else can we do unsafe browser is enabled you see this setting just came up from this persistent storage it just loaded from there unsafe browser is basically this so by default is uh, disabled but we can enable it so let's go ahead and enable this one and what else we can enable uh, network connection and mac address spoofing well let's not touch those and let's go ahead and start the operating system 
All right, I just load it and we have those options. By default, trash, tails, documentation, report and error. How about open tails documentation right here? And you can see it opens the Tor browser actually. This documentation is available locally, offline, so you can read this one. So it's all available right here. How about we close the Tor browser? Notice I don't have a Wi-Fi connection on this computer because the drivers by default is not provided for this Broadcom Wi-Fi app. So I need to install it manually. And I actually run into a few problems installing this manually. So the best way to actually install this one manually, I'm actually gonna provide the command down below is to plug this USB drive to other computer install it and just like plug it here and it's gonna work on your Mac so remember you can use this one on any computer it's just like very very portable so let's go ahead and just explore the operating system when we open places it shows the places available on your computer typically you're gonna be interested in this one particularly persistence when you open this one it's gonna open your specific documents whatever you save so you can see I have few things here that document downloads into our browser everything else is typically wiped so if you have saved something on your desktop it's gonna be wiped next time <laughs> so be ready for that all right how about the open applications so it's all basically categorized by those categories and let's see favorites tor browser configure persistent volume this one is you very interesting so basically let's open this one as you can see you can pick what things you want to save here you can customize any way you want for example the welcome screen and all those things you can customize right here and it even says like how much storage I have on this USB drive it says 20 gigs right so it's gonna say personal data welcome screen bookmarks Bitcoin client PG SSH client dot files and stuff like that so everything is gonna be saved I just picked everything you can deselect and configure the way you want even additional software is going to be saved so yes save well i don't want to restart it so let's just minimize it so we have password manager here text editor this one i'm not sure probably like generating and checking hash files calculator accessories graphics pretty good selection of the software available here so libreoffice draw inkscape and gimp right internet we have onion circuits for accessing the internet onion share not sure haven't used this one but probably interesting unsafe browser actually there's a Tor browser and there's also unsafe browser this one exposes your real IP address let's go ahead and launch this one for some reason it's not loading <laughs> probably because there's no internet access and just get some issues here all right so office office is interesting too right so basically the whole LibreOffice suite is installed right here so you can explore those options a LibreOffice writer just a typical writer you have so yeah but remember to, you should actually save those things into persistent storage not lost all right Come on, I mean, each time I move it right here, it just like opens this menu. But yeah, you can probably configure this one as well. Like system tools you can delete persistent storage if you don't need it you can configure again here additional software settings how about to open settings and check it out as you can see just the typical settings stuff here background you want to configure how about we change it to some different some interesting debian for example okay that sounds nice search region language cool you can pick all those options right here by the way by default there are like just much more than english there's like chinese japanese korean uh, all those things are available right here what's next devices okay so you can configure displays keyboard mouse and trackpad touchpad sorry printers removable media all right so those were the settings let's go ahead and explore more tails installer so if you want you can actually install this one on your hard drive and have it as a permanent installation okay, utilities document viewer system monitor i mean typical stuff that you find on any linux system and as you can see it says 1.4 gigs of memory just used i mean on the mac os i should actually use as much more by default of course and linux feels much more snappier here and i mean guys this is actually looks very very similar to like pop os debian in general so just expect some like ubuntu debian kind of stuff and as you can see it's all the same kind of stuff it looks similar and behaves similarly it's just like more privacy oriented so it has store built in and all the stuff right here so and actually it's designed to be run from from the thumb drive right let's actually go ahead and open this menu all right so here are the, all those options here's a dock installed you can press this one to show all the applications here yeah I mean there's not much but you can install more if you need it so you have everything you have even the mail client right here built in so I actually like the tails I'm gonna explore it more and Probably I'm gonna install the Wi-Fi drivers for sure. The main feature of this distro is a Tor browser for sure. So this one is expected to be used a lot. So it says Tor is not ready, start Tor browser anyway. Start Tor browser because we don't actually have an internet connection right here, but let's just open the Tor browser. Yes, yeah, so basically it says it's not connecting, but I mean, it's just a typical Tor browser that you find anywhere. For example, you can select the security level right here. 
Yes, so there are standard safer and safest uh, level of security. When you select safest, like everything is mostly blocked. So some websites are not going to be displayed correctly, but this is like the most secure way of uh, managing stuff in the internet. And here is this one. When you press it, it totally resets everything uh, and you basically get a new identity. Basically everything is erased, like cookies and all the stuff like that. All right, and here we have an error message that it cannot run stuff securely, but we're just going to press OK for sure because it actually doesn't have internet access. All right, guys, this was a short overview view of what you can expect from a Tails operating system. Let's go ahead and shut it down. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please consider subscribing, pressing the like button, and there'll be more videos like that. Yeah, I mean, Tails OS is a great operating system for the privacy reasons. I mean, I love it, and I'm probably gonna use it more. I mean, of course, I have some kind of issues with the Wi-Fi drivers right there, but I mean, it's all possible to solve. So yeah, this, this is definitely just like one thing I need to fix on that, in that matter. All right, so we'll see you soon, and we discover more distros for Mac, probably. Yeah, I mean, the whole transition of Apple to the Apple Silicon is a great idea but we actually losing something we're losing this kind of support of different alternative operating systems which is for me is a big deal i mean i'm not sure about you guys but for me is a big deal so yeah let's see how it turns out maybe at some point will be arm running natively on um, apple silicon so we'll see that so yeah it should be fine i hope <laughs>